Hey guys, Marsting in here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so today we are jumping in to do the new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history. We are live on stream at the time of recording. Uh, I let the stream chat pick the team that we're going to use. Uh, we obviously want to be all the missions in one go. So for this new stage, you need to bring three Bond of Friendship characters and three Joined Forces characters. Now, they always do this so that they want you to take advantage of the new units that came out. So obviously, Kale and Khalifla lead Bond of Friendship and they are a Joined Forces unit. So it's very easy to do this with their team. But I'm not a huge fan of Kale and Khalifla. I wanted to do something a bit more interesting. So I let the chat pick and we have settled on GT Heroes. So for our three Bond of Friendship characters, we have GT Goku. We have the AGL Goten and Trunks and we have Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And then for the three uh, Joined Forces characters, we have GT, Goten and Gohan. We have the Gohan, uh, the Goten and Trunks again. They're actually on both. And then we have the GT Trio. So because Goten and Trunks are on both, that frees up a slot where we can bring whoever we want. So we have AGL, Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta. So I'm using Goku as my leader and bringing a friend Vegeta. Because I'm going to run the GT Super Saiyans together on a rotation. And then the Super Saiyan 4s together on a rotation. And we're already starting off with that rotation. So, uh, yeah, I can't imagine that this run is going to be particularly difficult. So, I always like to go into these new Infinite Dragon Ball History stages completely blind. So, I don't know who all the fights are against. I don't know who the final boss is. So... Makes it a bit more interesting in terms of trying to manage the run because you don't know exactly when you're going to be in the final run. I also made sure to bring a Sensu Bean on this run because I don't know if any of the enemies lock your units in place. And as I've said before in many videos, that is probably the mechanic that I hate the most in this game. So I've made sure to bring one of those just in case. And of course we get super attacked on the only unit on the rotation that has type disadvantage. And uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku not coming through with the uh, super counter, but Goten and Trunks with the additional super. This whole team, apart from the GT Trio, is full level 10 links for me as well. Uh, GT Trio is probably the unit that I've used the least out of uh, all of these guys. So, uh, yeah, let's probably just save those for Goku. Goku's the major hard hitter, so, uh, yeah, 8 orbs, or, yeah, 8 orbs. We'll give, give him 8 orbs, that is... Uh, pretty strong and then gt trio they're just going to be the floating off unit i mean they're still very good i've got two dupes in them they're not link leveled so i think all their links are like one or two because i've used them on the odd run here and there for stuff um but yeah i mean gt hero is still a very very powerful team i mean goku here just casually throwing out a seven million attack stat we got no support unit on the rotation and then he hits an additional for 1.5 million. This is why I didn't put Vegeta in slot 2. Because I didn't want the type disadvantage super attack. So they're uh, being pretty liberal throwing out these super attacks very early on I see. But 2.5 million for the GT trio. Even with the type disadvantage we should finish him off here. I say. But alright there we go. They come through with the additional super. But... GT Heroes OP with the easy... Yeah, the, the GT Heroes team is very, very powerful. I mean, the Super Saiyan 4 Easy A's are pretty crazy, to say the least. And then we got these uh, supports. Obviously, the GT Go Bros uh, literally support GT Heroes. And then Goten and Trunks support Goku Family or Vegeta Family, which, of course, our main rotation are those units and of course if you look at the bottom here we have 572k hp with this team so this team is very very powerful <laughs> but yeah someone mentioned in the chat i didn't i streamed the hit easy a but there isn't going to be like a video of it uh, once you get to stage 25 and onwards they actually have the uh, lr hit and goku uh, ost for the last few stages which is pretty interesting so that is something useful to know, because I often play the game without the sound, so I probably wouldn't have known that if uh, someone hadn't told me. But here we go, we got an int enemy, so we'll go ahead and throw Goku in slot 1. There's not a lot of a lot of orbs here for getting a huge string for the nukas, but we can get 7 orbs for you. I mean, I feel like this run is not going to be <laughs> particularly difficult at all with how powerful... The GT Heroes team is. I mean, Infinite Dragon Ball History, obviously not the hardest content in the world. But 
some of the stages, once you get towards the end, they do start to hit a lot harder. Um, you do see things like rotation locking, um, sealing your units, uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, it can be very tricky sometimes. I don't know if this one is going to have one of those enemies that like only super attacks as well, which could be a little bit annoying. But I mean, this team is this team is so good. I don't think it really matters all that much. I mean, even though we took a super in the first turn for like big damage, we're basically already back to full health without having to use an item. Uh, this team is just very very powerful. And look at this, Goten and Trunks just going off in slot three. Getting the extra additional super, and then we take them out. So, very, very good. And who have we got next? Goten and Trunks. So, obviously, if you hadn't guessed or hadn't seen already, the whole theme of this Infinite Dragon Ball history is all of the enemies are joined forces uh, characters. So, let's keep these in orbs here for the GT trio. Grab these for you, and then grab those for you. So, not too bad. My favourite units from each typing. That is a that is a huge question that would require quite a lot of thought. <laughs> Why is everyone summoning when they can save? I mean, that's the thing, right? Double rate spanner. Oh, super counter from Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Let's go. 4 million crit super attack counter. That is goodbye. He's like, sit down, boys. Get out of here. <laughs> that was, uh, damn. That was pretty crazy. Um... But yeah, double rate spanner coming up for LR, Goku and Hit. Pretty hype. Um, definitely something to be saving for. Uh, but obviously by the time this video comes out, the Heroes banner has gone now. Um, I don't really think Kale and Khalifla are hugely worth summoning for. They're not a bad unit. They're definitely quite good. But I just don't think they're very necessary. Like, their team is just kind of eh. Like, I don't... Like, Rapid, they're, they're the best Rapid Growth lead now. Like, if you're really struggling to beat Rapid Growth Super Battle Road. But, other than that, I really don't think they're that necessary to have. I'd rather, like, they'll probably, they'll come back on a banner. When they come back for the first time, I wouldn't be surprised if it's on a banner that's actually really good. And then chances are you'll be able to get them then. But, yeah, definitely healing, uh, sorry, healing, definitely saving for, uh, Either the double rates banner or there's the new year step up banner obviously coming at the end of the year. Depending on what your account is like, depending how much of a whale you are. Because uh, obviously for me, the step up banner is pretty much completely useless. Even if they add like a new LR or two that I don't have. The pool of ones that I do have that I could potentially get is obviously still big enough that it makes that banner kind of risky for me to summon on. Um, so I probably won't be touching the step ups. But yeah, the double rates banner. Ooh. Actually, yeah, someone is right in chat. If you haven't done the discounted steps on Kalen Khalifa's banner, I do recommend doing them. Because like three multis for 100 stones where you get guaranteed featured at the end is pretty good. So I would definitely say that that is worth doing. So, all right, we got double int units rotation. So this is the one where it could look a little bit sketchy if we get super attacked here. So we've got eight orbs for Goku. Uh, six and six. That doesn't really matter then, I guess. And then, yeah, grab these for you. So this one is the one that could be a little bit tricky if one of the int units gets super. Okay, they're going to super Goku. Right, that's fine then. So, Vegeta definitely going to tank for double digits. I don't know about the GT trio, but they do raise defense on super, um, so they should be fine. Goku getting hit with an attack lowering super attack and still putting out a 6.6 .6 million <laughs> attack stat super is uh, it's pretty nice. Um, obviously, he gets a lot of his boost on super attack, so he's not really as affected by attack lowering effects, but still very good. Can Vegeta come through with the crit? No. Unfortunately, when you got type disadvantage, you can be a great unit putting out a huge attack stat, but if you don't crit... Then uh, you're not really doing a lot of damage, sadly. But he's still tanking for double-digit damage. So we definitely cannot complain about that. Um, I don't know if the are the Blue Boy's the last boss. I mean, they are the joined forces leader. So I guess I wouldn't be surprised if they were. But um, yeah, the GT Heroes team has made an absolute mockery of this stage. And when you consider the fact that we're going to complete all of the missions by doing this as well. So, we don't even need to heal because we can grab a bunch of same type orbs here. 
Sadly, I cannot get the Dokon attack though. Imagine getting the Dokon attack on this stage with Goku. Type advantage with the GT Heroes support. Like, because what is his attack stat going to be here? 7 million. Imagine if this was the Dokon attack. <laughs> I mean, we'll probably still win this turn anyway. Yeah. Ooh. Big crit from Goku. And uh... So that means if we win this turn, if this isn't the last fight, it means we just go into the next one and then Dokon attack. So... Additional normal. Actually, are we even are we even gonna finish him off? So he super attack, super save for Vegeta. His defense is very, very high right now. So Alright, someone in chat says GT Trio is the last stage. So that was actually quite a lot of damage. Um Big damage on Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta there. But Goten and Trunks, if they get off all their additionals here, come on. Let's go. Finish him off. I wanna go into the next stage and Dokon attack straight away. Yes, let's go. We get that extra additional. So we are looking good here, boys. Takes him out. So if the GT trio, are they going to be in? Because then, oof, Goku in slot one. Oh, they are. Oh, this is risky, though. Look at our health. <laughs> oh, do we take the risk? Oh, oh. Oh, we got active skills to use. All right, let's do this. Let's use both the active skills first. <laughs> this is going to be a pretty good ending here. So we use both the active skills. We'll see Goku's and Vegeta's back to back. Vegeta's is better in my opinion, animation wise. Obviously he's uh, probably not going to do as much damage. But... I just love that transition from like the golden ape punch. And then like the dust clears and it's like Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta. I mean that looks so good. But uh, if we do this, how much health am I going to get back from, like, same type orbs? Because I don't, I really don't want to heal. Because I feel like we are going to win this turn. But the problem is, if we get super attack, like, in slot one, we probably die. <laughs> but <laughs> I kind of have to take the risk, right? Like, we've come this far. We just have to do it. Just don't super attack me, you bums. Oh, no. <laughs> do we die here? Imagine if I die, like, right now. I think we got type advantage. We got support. Do we die? Oh, <laughs> we live. <laughs> All right. Come on then. Dokon attack. Oh, that was a bit too early. Dokon attack from GT Goku with support on the rotation. He's rocking almost a 7 million attack stat. Uh, is this going to be a GG right here from GT Goku? We've got almost the full damage multiplier. So, how much is this actually going to do? Can we crit? <sighs> Seven and a half million damage. No crit. So, there you go. GT Heroes. Even with a little bit of bad luck towards the end there. We got super good luck on that final turn. And uh, GT Heroes absolutely annihilating the new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history. Whilst also completing all of the missions in one go. Because we have our three Bond of Friendship and three Joined Forces characters. So, look at that. It was a close call at the end, but that was a good time as well. Very, very quick run. No items, no support memory required. GT Heroes absolutely crushing the Super Warrior Tag Teams stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history. So, let me know what team you guys use down below. Obviously, if you're struggling to do, like, a team that can do all the missions in one go, there's no reason you have to do them all in one go. You can easily just do them in two separate missions. But let me know what team you guys use down below in the comment section. So, that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.